Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Throwdown for the week of April 17th, 2021. This is Luke the Big Dog Williams. I am Kayla Black. That is the Mighty Max Fury, and it is time for the WrestleMania Week Recap Part 1. We're going to talk about NXT TakeOver Parts 1 and 2. Uh, and Part 2 of the video, we're going to cover Mania. We figured we'd do the whole week because it was a big week yes. in, in the wrestling world. So uh, let's talk NXT TakeOver Nights 1 and 2. All right. Well, Night 1 started with a with a dark match, of yeah. course. Night 1 was on it was the April televised 7th. broadcast, yes. April 7th. Uh, Zoe Stark defeated Tony Storm. Uh, Zoe Storm. Stark is a Damn. new... She thicker than a snicker. Oh. As a, as a new talent that they're trying to push, they pushed in the dark match. Yeah. We started the show with Pete Dunne as he defeated Kushida. Yes, he did. Went 10 minutes, 39 seconds. <laughs> it's good. I'm sorry. I started laughing because I thought about the joke I made in that other video. Ah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Kushida and uh, uh, Pete Dunne was really good. Yeah, good was. opener. Pete Dunne's a uh, fucking technical genius, so. Uh, we had the big six-man gauntlet after that for a yep. shot at the North American Championship on night two. Yep. Uh, Bronson Reed defended, uh, de defended, defended, defeated, defeated uh, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Cameron Grimes, L.A. Knight, Dexter Loomis, and Leon Ruff to become the number one contender. We're going to circle back to this match because yes. really, this is what I really want to talk about. Uh, match four of the card, Walter defeated Ciampa. We're definitely going to circle back and talk about that. Uh, five, the MSK defeated Grizzled Young Veterans. And uh, Legato del Fantasma? Yeah, that's, I guess yeah, that's close suits. enough. I was just trying to make sure my wording was right. Uh, to win the NXT Tag Team Championships. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> which was always in the cards. I guess you can say me. MSK made an impact in NXT. <laughs> Two of them, anyway. <laughs> um, the other one's still floundering. Oh. Uh, but uh, they won the Dusty Classic, so you, you, knew, nice they were, you, you. knew they were... <laughs> you knew they were going to win the Tag Team. Yeah. And in the main event, Raquel Gonzalez with Dakota Kai defeated Io Shirai for the NXT Women's yes, Championship. She did. God damn, it's in about time. One of the best women's championship matches that I can recall since Bailey and Banks at yeah, NXT, NXT Takeover. Yeah, a hell of a match. So let's talk about some of those matches here on night one before we jump on. All right, night well, two. let me shoot to you. We will go with the six man gauntlet elimination. Bronson Reed is a fucking animal. He's a beast. He is so strong. Uh, remember the, the just number one being an agile big man, especially in today's climate, isn't as rare as it used to be. But being a big man who's kind of got his form and his shape and having that agility, that motherfucker is world title material. He is like he's like he's a modern a day Bam Bam. To, a throw, I was just about yeah. to say a throwback to Bam Bam and Vader, yeah. a big guy who can fucking move, who can fly, and, and, and is uh, believable. I don't like the fact that LA Knight was in the match well, and here's didn't my, go over because he's so fresh. Here's so my new. deal with that, though. They brought him in and they fucked him off. Yeah. And th that was the only way that you could really do it because you didn't want him to lose steam. So you bring him in, you, you put him, him out yeah. quick. So that way it's not, well, he fought and he could have yeah. won. No. You slam that down quick. You have him get cocky, jump in the ring, boom, put him out. Yeah. So I that agree way with that. it saves the heat. He's also the chicken shit heel. Yeah. So it works. But uh, Bronson Reed winning, obviously, going on uh, night two, which we'll talk about later yes. on, uh, against Johnny Sameface for the NXT <laughs> North American <laughs> title. Uh, goddamn Bronson Reed. All right. We're going to go to the Walter Ciampa for the NXT UK Championship. Go. The best professional wrestling match of not only the week, uh, possibly the year, second only to Walter and uh, uh, Rampage Brown. Sergey. Uh, what the fuck is his name? Walter and um, oh no, uh, but yeah, Dragunov, UK Yulia. UK title match. Yeah, yes, Dragunov. I think there was one match better this this past week, but we'll get to that when we get there. Yeah, uh, yes, I'm great. talking pure professional wrestling, mid south style match. Right. Well, I mean, Walter old school and UK style. Or Walter and uh, Chamba was yes, so good. Was a great match. Yes, uh, the right guy went over. Yeah. If there was somebody to have beaten Walter at this point, it. Could have only been Ciampa yeah. at this point. Uh, we, we're not going to... I love that they finished with the chop. Yes. The power bomb. Ciampa walks into the chop. One okay. giant hard overhand strike. Um, we won't talk about this on here, but I am going to give a shout out to uh, Walter and uh, Rampage Brown on NXT UK Prelude. Uh, we're not going to cover it because it was only three matches long, but yeah. if you thought Ciampa and him was something... Watch Prelude. Walter's just consistently better. having good traditional style matches. 
And that's what I like so much. And the man can't be beat. Nope. Uh, we'll go on to uh, Raquel Gonzalez becoming the new NXT Women's Champion. Not only was it a great match, it was time for Io Shirai to drop the belt, and Raquel Gonzalez is the perfect person to put it on. Yep. She's a legitimate monster in the women's division. She's a heel, so they've got someone chasing the belt and now. she can work. Yeah, she's so good. I am so happy that she got the belt. All right. And uh, that was the headline for night one. Now let's get into night two, which was the NXT on... The Peacock Network now. April 8th. April 8th. Uh, the dark match to that was Killian Dane and Drake Maverick taking on Brazongo for a shot at the NXT Tag Team Which I would have liked to have seen. I, I would have too. Uh, Brazongo was defeated by Killian Dane and Drake Maverick yep. in 8 minutes and 38 seconds. We start the show with the NXT Cruiserweight, WWE Cruiserweight, Unification match, yeah. uh, ladder match. Which is very cool. Between Santos Escobar and Jordan Devlin, or as I like to call him, Cuerno. Yeah, one of the best Devlin. ladder matches of the year, for sure. Uh, fantastic match. Uh, they didn't go they didn't overboard. Go, yeah, they didn't go crazy. They did have some flashy spots. They had a lot. And again, it's, it's that traditional British, UK version of wrestling against uh, the Hunter's... Mexican lucha style. Yeah, it was, uh, it was fantastic. The ending was great. Uh, it kept you enthralled through the yeah. whole thing. Santos. The thing that kind of took me out of it is the referees grabbing the bottom of the ladder when Devlin come off the top. Yeah, it's in the shot. It shouldn't be in the shot because yeah. it makes it kind of. Eh, yeah, they could have done. They could have had the lucha suits do that or something. We're gonna go right on to the next match, which was, in my opinion, the worst match of the entire night. Which was Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart defeating the way to uh, to uh, retain the NXT championship. It was not good, and I don't understand why NXT has a women's tag team division. Uh, it doesn't need one. Don't uh, get it. Don't the like women's it. championship can go to any pro brand. So exactly. We'll leave that at what, that. What's going to happen? They're going to get a SmackDown women's tag title. I don't buy like Candice LeRae and Indy is. I don't buy Candice. I don't anyway. buy Candice same face at all. Uh, anyway, we'll go right into uh, Johnny Gargano. Defeats Bronson Reed to retain the title. While I think Bronson Reed, they should have pulled the, the trigger. I'm glad they did it the way they did. I am too because it builds to the fact that you can you can get come back to it. Yep. This. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bronson Johnny, Reed was a fucking monster. Yeah, Bronson Reed looked great. He did all of the catches that that guys do wrong all the time. Yes, he looked great. Johnny same face did his job. He uh, took the th he took the three slingshot DDTs to be beaten. Yeah, uh, which. Pulls out the whole Bam Bam Bigelow yeah. Vader kind of thing. Yeah, it was a very. I got to hit you with it everything. Was, it was very much like Michaels and Vader, except uh, Bronson Reed didn't forget his spot, and Johnny Same Face wasn't a bitch. Also, it wasn't six, seven, <laughs> eight minutes. They actually went sixteen minutes. Yeah, it was a damn good match. You know, it was a, it was something that you want from a title match. You yeah. want the longevity. You want the. And the, the I, I feel like that. too, it was a great way to follow as far as the other title goes on the show. It was a great way to follow Walter and Ciampa. Yes. Uh, we move on to match five, the first half of the double main event, which was Karrion Cross defeating Finn Balor for the NXT Championship to become two-time NXT Champion. This obviously takes the... I don't know why I feel like I'm talking about the list. Uh, this obviously takes the belt off of Balor. Hopefully, they move him back into the feud with Walter, which was what yes. we planned before the shutdown. Karrion Cross sits at his rightful place as champion, and it was a damn good match. It was. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't the normal uh, Finn Balor fly everywhere. That goddamn Scarlet Bordeaux looked fantastic. She, she, she is a stunner, man. Yeah, she really is. Uh, what can be said about Karrion Cross and Finn Balor? It was everything that you thought it was yep. going to be. And Textbook, hard-hitting, fucking great match. And then we move to the match that I talked about earlier, you Ugh. saying Walter and... Yeah. This was my match of, of Mania Week. I, I'm going to let you talk about it. Adam Cole defeated by Kyle O'Reilly in the unsanctioned match that went 40 minutes. And you felt every fucking you one of You felt every bit of the 40 minutes, but at the same token, it felt like a main event. That's something that NXT hasn't done in a while. Not since Johnny Same Face and Ciampa did the right. lights out match. And you have the you have the build fight. that has been building for almost a year. Yeah. And you have the payoff. Um, I think that the opportunity that was wasted of not bringing Adam Cole to the main roster uh, during the this yeah. week. Um, but the two men fought. Uh, you felt it. The story was there. The uh, the two the, I mean both wrestlers are probably two of the greatest athletes in professional wrestling yeah. at this time. Um, honestly, uh, all I can say is that I would have liked to have seen another one. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen another match 
but it should have been for the belt. Yeah. And it should have had some kind of more, should have had some more, uh, how do I go with this? Not gusto, but more involved for the winner. It yeah. should have been, it should have been a prize. It should have been something. I get the, the bragging rights <laughs> and I get the Adam Cole turning on the Undisputed Era and Kyle O'Reilly stepping up. But then you've got Roderick Strong leaving. Yeah. Uh, Fish is still hurt, I think. Yeah, I think that it was a wasted opportunity. But as far as the match goes, it was stellar. Both men worked their asses off. They got the story across. Um, I would have preferred it to be Adam Cole and Pat Mac McAfee 3. Yeah. You don't get that. But Kyle O'Reilly is somebody to really watch for the next year. Uh, Adam Cole is somebody who should move up to the main roster and be a mainstay on either Raw or SmackDown for at least the next Adam year. Cole is going to go to SmackDown so Pat McAfee can talk shit about him from the broadcast Would table be and fantastic. do it on the main roster. Would be fantastic. Uh, he, I did not care for this match as much as he did. Uh, I thought it went on too long. I thought you could have got... Look, and I know, I know it's the WWE's universe, so like you have to suspend your brain to make it work. They hit each other with literally everything. There was no blood. There was no big fallout. I just, it, it wasn't, wasn't, it was a little pitchy for me, dog. Uh, that being said, they went 40, 40 minutes and had an NXT fucking classic. Fight, so yeah, it was classic. You know, if it were me at 20 minutes and a little blood would have, would have done the job, but yeah, well, I mean, but you got to work with it. But it's the WWE. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. I would have, I would have preferred blood. Yeah. Myself. And 20 minutes. Can't get <laughs> But you can't get away with that. Anymore. Right. So, uh, for also NXT, being the first NXT pay per view on Peacock, yeah. they needed that 40 minutes. They needed that yeah. hard hitting main event. And so, I, they delivered. All in all, uh, NXT had a hell of a showing. We got a couple new champs. Uh, Johnny Same Face is still the. Actually, the North American title is the only title that didn't Did not change hands. Yes. No, uh, no, 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 no. Women's, women's tag, tag titles, too. Yes. Uh, titles. In my opinion, the uh, also yeah the UK title also didn't change hands as well. Oh yeah, that's Walter right because Walter defended it the night. Here's my deal for the NXT both nights. I would give collectively an eight? four point five. Yeah, four and a half. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I the only point a deduction honestly looking back at the card the women's tag match the women's tag match took a half a point and in my opinion the uh, the Bronson Reed not. Being not winning, uh, having the, the trigger pulled, yeah. even though I agree that it was the right, right. decision, would have been nice to see. Well. Yeah. Would have been it would have been a big moment. Yeah. So, guys, let us know what you thought about Four NXT five. Takeover parts one and two this week. You can do that by finding on. I didn't do any of the plugs for the other videos. No, you didn't. Sure. By finding us on Facebook, facebook.com slash pro wrestling throwdown. Following us on Twitter at pro wrestling td. Like, subscribe, leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to send us an email at pro wrestling throwdown at gmail.com and stay tuned. For the WrestleMania Nights 1 and 2 Part 2 Stop video of WrestleMania that week. Exciting. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on, get it. Sorry, I don't know what's going on over here. That didn't work. No.